good morning all of you just uh, we will wait for 2 minutes because only few students are here we will wait for 2 minutes and after that we will start
that's a total problem with them, okay? I am a message. I am a message. I am a message. I Now, good morning, all of you. Now, is this thing visible to you? Yes, sir. Okay. So, in the uh, last lecture, we have discussed regarding with this fold and its type, etc. Okay, now today we are going to discuss the next important structure present in the rock and that structure is considered as a fault. Okay, so <clears throat> in the rocks, uh, I have told you that the different structures are there like fold, fault, joint, unconformity, etc. Okay, now we have discussed regarding with the fold. We have understand very well uh, fold, uh, what is the meaning of fold, how these folds are formed, okay? Now, today we are going to discuss what is the meaning of fault and its type, okay? Now, um, just wait, I have to share the whiteboard with you. Just wait. Now, suppose uh, here I'm uh, drawing, suppose these are the horizontal layers present in the rock, okay? So these are the different horizontal layers present in the rock. Suppose the force is acting from both these sides, suppose from this side and this side, the force is acting on this horizontal type of the uh, horizontal rocks. Now, after applying force from two opposite sides, what will happen that we have discussed, okay? Now, these horizontal rocks are converted into such a fold-like structure. After applying the forces from two opposite sides, these horizontal rocks are converted into this fold-like structure, okay? So this is the theory behind the formation of the folds in the rock. Now, same horizontal rocks are there. Just may wait. Suppose, um, These are the now this is the rock, and this rock having these. Uh, horizontal layer in it, okay? So this is the first layer, this is the second layer, this is the third layer, 
and this one is the fourth layer okay now here forces is acting but here the forces is acting but they are uh, from suppose the forces now acting at this place okay and at this place in this horizontal drop okay now what will happen to these horizontal layer drops what will be the result what will be the result when the forces are acting like this is there any id just minute i will show you what will happen to these rocks so these rocks we rotate like this so this is the third layer and this is the fourth layer okay so this is the first this is the second layer this is the third layer and this is the fourth layer okay is it right have you understand so after applying forces at this end and at this end these horizontal rocks may converted into this structure means this left hand side goes downward means due to this pressure this left side goes downward and due to this pressure this right side goes upward so ultimately these horizontal rocks are converted into this form okay now till the pressure is active means again pressure is applied at same place what will happen what will happen if the pressure continues in same direction there will be formation of crack in between these layer okay one vertical crack will be developed in this vertical layer and again these rock or these horizontal layer may converted like this means this is the okay suppose these are the layer means this is the first layer this is the second layer this is the third layer this one is the fourth layer again this is the first this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth layer so due to applying pressure at same places the rock we rock in that horizontal uh, sequence may converted into this structure means two separate blocks are formed one block goes downward direction and one block goes towards the upward direction okay so this phenomenon is considered as a faulting means when pressure is applying at the both the ends in opposite direction first that rocks are converted into fold like structure still <coughs> the forces are acting the one fracture will be developed in these horizontal rocks vertically and this one horizontal series is converted into two separate blocks one block moves upward direction one block moves towards the downward direction and the movement in these horizontal rocks is considered as a fault okay so this movement in the horizontal rock is considered as a faulting have you understand now what is the meaning of fault now i will show you 
the examples of the fault just one minute so the fault means uh, this unfaulted block means if the fracture is there two separate rocks are there when the pressure is applied on this block means the here the pressure is applied at this direction here the pressure is applied on this block in this opposite direction that's why these uh, green blocks move upward direction the blue blocks move towards the downward direction so this structure is considered as a fault okay now what is the meaning of fault okay that we have to know fault means the fracture in a rock along which the block has moved relative to each other and parallel to the plane of fracture is called as a fault simple definition ahe fault manje kay it is a fracture fracture means crack in simple uh, language the meaning of fracture is the crack now from this crack what will happen one rock can be converted into two blocks one rock is converted into two blocks and that block are moved relative to each other there will be movement in these two block relative to each other now what is the meaning of relative to each other means uh, one block moves upward direction one block moves towards the downward direction opposite direction movement will be there and they are parallel to the plane of fracture okay uh, plane of fracture means uh, that uh, area suppose uh, here i will show you uh, which is the plane of fracture here so this area means on this side where the blocks are moved to that side is considered as a fault plane or it is also considered as a plane of fracture so that block um, movement is uh, parallel to the fault plane or plane of fracture so this structure is considered as a fault now <clears throat> in the initial stage of the fold we have discussed the, the different parts of the fold okay like fold axis fold uh, plane then uh, core crest trap hinge etc that we have discussed in the fold likewise here in the fault different parts are there for that for that fault and that part we have to discuss the now okay or terms that part is also considered as a terms used in the fault okay fault mandi jat terms use kele jatat that terms aplyala ya tikani kay karayche ahet ata study karayche ahet okay now in the fault the first term is the fault plane okay fault plane fault plane means the fracture along which uh, the fracture surface along which the two blocks have displaced with respect to each other that uh, fracture uh, plane or fracture side is considered as a fault plane okay so here i have shown you that the fault plane okay so this side means this side where the blocks are moved relative to each other okay he side ahe ani ya side varti kay zalele hai don block ek meka cha relative movement zalele tumhala baghayla mete ek block ikde left side cha varti kelela hai ek block ya tikani right hand side cha khali alela hai okay so this side is considered as a fault plane along which we can see the movement between two different blocks okay so this is the fault plane now another uh, parts are there uh, head the next is the head the angle of inclination of fault plane measured from the vertical is known as the head okay manje या फॉल्ट प्लेन शी तैयार जो एंगल दैट एंगल इज कंसिडर्ड एज ए हेड एंगल नाउ हियर जस्ट मिनिट आई विल शो यू वेर इज दी हेड एंगल 
so here this angle is considered as a head angle ata ya tikani jo brown color madhe mi mark kelela ahe ha ya tikani head angle manu consider kela jato the angle formed by the fault plane to the horizontal layer okay fault plane or horizontal layer shi tayar kelela jo angle asto that angle is considered as a head angle okay now next part is the hanging wall and foot wall hanging wall mean uh, the two blocks are formed in the fault For, uh, always remember that two blocks are formed in the um, fault so that two blocks in that two blocks one block is considered as a hanging wall and another um, uh, block is considered as a foot wall so here this right hand side block is the hanging wall and this left hand side block is the foot wall okay so what is the meaning of hanging wall the meaning of hanging wall is that the block which rest above the fault plane the block which rest above the fault plane that block is considered as a hanging wall and the block which remain below the fault plane that block is considered as a foot wall, uh, foot wall. okay have you understand the meaning of hanging wall hanging wall means the block which rest above the fault plane fault plane cha varti jo rahilela part asto block asto tya block la kay matla jata hanging wall matla jata manje ya tikani hi jar tumhi fault plane consider keli okay so this is the fault plane okay ata ya fault plane cha varti konta block ahe tar ha block jo ahe to varti ahe okay so this block is considered as a hanging wall and the block which is below the fault plane okay ya fault plane cha khali ha block rahilela ahe that's why this block is considered as a foot wall the block which remain below the fault plane that uh, block is considered as a foot wall okay so two different blocks are there hanging wall means block above the fault plane foot wall means the block below the Plane. <clears throat> Now the next are the uh, up throw side and down throw side. Up to up throw and down throw. Okay. So just wait. I will uh, show you here. Up throw side and down throw side. now up throw side up throw side means the side which moves upward direction the side which moves in upward direction that side is considered as a up throw side and the side which moves downward direction or the block which moves towards the downward direction that uh, block or that side is considered as a down throw side simple meaning is there up throw means which move upward direction down throw side which moves downward direction okay so this is the difference between up throw side and down throw side okay now here we have to know the uh, another term that term are throw then hew and slip throw hew and slip now what is the meaning of throw hew and slip now here uh have you seen here this is the hue this is the throw and this is the slip okay hue throw and slip these are the three distances in the fault okay just minute i will show explain you what is the meaning of throw what is the meaning of hue and what is the meaning of slip now q is the horizontal displacement of the block okay q is the horizontal displacement of the block throw is the vertical displacement of the block <coughs> and slip is the oblique or uh, relative displacement in between two blocks that oblique displacement is considered as a slip okay manje kay 
तर सुरुवातीला हे जे ब्लॉक असणार आहेत खाली गेलेला हा हँगिंग वॉलचा तो वरती असणार आहे आता तो ज्यावेळेस खालीच रखतो त्यावेळेस त्या ठिकाणी तीन डिस्टन्सेस तयार होतात ओके थ्री डिस्टन्सेस आर फॉर्म दॅट डिस्टन्सेस जस्ट वेट आय विल शो यू सो धिस इज दी फर्स्ट हॉरिजेंटल डिस्टन्स इन बिटवीन टू ब्लॉक दॅट हॉरिजेंटल डिस्टन्स which i have marked here in the red color that horizontal distance is considered as a q <coughs> due to movement in two blocks the blocks are moved vertically also relative to each other ek meka cha relative madhe te don block vertically sudha move hota manje kasa ata ya tikani jar bagitla tar mi ya tikani vegla color use karto just wait i will use the separate color here so here you can see that this is the purple line here in this block now where is this line in this block it is here okay so from this purple line to this purple line the block is moved vertically so this vertical movement in the block or the vertical distance in between the block that vertical distance is considered as a throw okay so block is moved horizontally as well as vertically so here in the uh, red color horizontal distance or horizontal displacement is there in the green color the vertical distance or vertical displacement is shown now when block is moved horizontally and vertically oblique displacement will be there manje horizontally ani vertically jar block move hot asel तर त्या ठिकाणी थर्ड डिस्प्लेसमेंट सुद्धा तयार होत असते ऑब्लिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके सो दॅट ऑब्लिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज कन्सिडर्ड ऍज ए स्लीप सो हिअर दि लाईन विच आय हॅव मार्क इन दि ब्राऊन कलर दॅट डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज कन्सिडर्ड ऍज ए स्लीप ओके दि व्हर्टिकल ग्रीन कलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज कन्सिडर्ड ऍज ए थ्रो and the horizontal displacement which here marked in the red color it is considered as a hue so here hue throw and slip are the displacement distances in the fault okay so the meaning of all these points which we have uh, discussed here now so this first is the fault plane Uh, the fault plane means where the block is moved uh, relative to each other that surface is considered as a uh, fault plane <coughs> next head means the angle made by the uh, fault plane with the horizontal layer that angle is considered as a head hanging wall means the uh, block which rests above the fault plane that block is considered as a hanging wall the block rests below the fault plane that block is considered as a foot wall up throw side means b side which moves upward direction down throw side means b side which moves towards the downward direction hue throw and uh, slip these are the uh, displacement hue means it is a horizontal displacement in the block throw is the vertical displacement in the block and the slip is the total displacement means oblique displacement in the block so these are the three displacements or uh, distances formed in the blocks due to the faulting manje faulting zala mo ya tikani teen types of displacements tumhala tayar zalelya bagayla milta okay so this is the uh, regarding with the uh, terms or parts of the fault okay so have you understand which are the important parts have you understand Yes or no? Please give the reply. Yes, sir. Okay. From girls, have you understand? Because if you not uh, understand this part, you can't get the types of the fault. जर तुम्हाला हे partsस लक्षात आले नाही faultचे, तर पुढचे तेचे types तुम्हाला समजणार नाही आहेत. Okay? so have you understand all these parts of the fault
from girl i understand yes or no please give me the reply yes sir okay so now we are going to discuss the types of faults okay in the fold we have discussed the different types of the fold now today we are going to discuss uh, different types of the faults okay now here <clears throat> different types of the faults are there first one is the normal fault uh, second one is the reverse fault next one is the step fault another one is the hose another one is the grab and fault etc okay so when you see any textbook or reference book you can get two many types of the faults in that textbook or reference book but here we are going to discuss only the important types of the faults okay which are uh, important from our civil engineering point of view only those types we will discuss here okay so here first type of the fault is the normal fault okay normal fault now what is the meaning of normal fault the fault in which the hanging wall has moved downward with respect to the foot wall is known as the normal fault okay manje ya tikani normal fault manje kay when the fault is there okay we uh, now we have to know what is the meaning of hanging wall what is the meaning of foot wall okay so here when you look here this is the fault plane just wait i will uh, use another color here okay so this is the fault plane where the block is moved relative to each other so on this fault plane this is the block which rest above the fault plane okay so this block is considered as a hanging wall <coughs> and this block which um, present below the fault plane so this block is considered as a foot wall just wait i will write here foot wall and this is the hanging wall okay so what is the definition of normal fault the fault in which hanging wall has moved downward with respect to foot wall म्हणजे जर हँगिंग वॉल खाली जात असेल फुटवॉलशी रिलेटेड देन सच अ टाइप ऑफ दी फॉल्ट इज कन्सिडर्ड एज ए हँगिंग नॉर्मल फॉल्ट ओके हँगिंग वॉल मूव्स डाऊनवर्ड डायरेक्शन फुटवॉल मूव्स टुवर्ड्स दी अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो सच अ टाइप ऑफ दी अरेंजमेंट इज देअर इन दी फॉल्ट देन दिस टाइप ऑफ दी फॉल्ट इज कन्सिडर्ड एज ए नॉर्मल फॉल्ट ओके नाव दिस फॉल्ट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ए gravity fault okay now this fault is also considered as a gravity fault ya yeah, fault la gravity fault manun sudha consider kela jata the normal fault usually have high angle dip okay so head angle is greater greater than 45 degree okay now which angle so just wait i will uh, draw here so this is the fault plane okay and it with this horizontal layer one angle is formed that angle is considered as a head angle okay so that head angle is always for, uh, greater than 45 degree here okay high angle dip means it is greater than 45 degree now in this type of fault the beds are stretched after the faulting beds are stretched now what is meaning of beds are stretched beds are stretched means when the uh, faulting is there the beds are stretched means uh, just minute before the faulting this block uh, is uh, look like this means this is just wait i will draw it, uh, you like this okay before faulting this two blocks are like this okay so these are the layer present in this block okay but after the faulting after the faulting 
this distance is increased okay horizontal distance is increased before the faulting this horizontal distance is from this to this point okay but after the faulting it is increased from this to this so beds are extended okay so it is considered as a beds are stretched after the faulting the horizontal distance will be increased after the faulting okay so this is considered as a normal fault only you have to remember the points hanging wall moves downward foot wall moves upward direction okay it is also considered as a gravity fault angle made by the fault plane with the horizontal layer that angle is considered as a head and it is always greater than 45 degree and uh, up, uh, due to this normal faulting the beds are stretched means the uh, horizontal distance will be increased in between these horizontal beds okay so these are the important points related with the normal fault so this is the again uh, one in diagram which shows the normal fault again i will show you here the different part so this is the fault plane okay this is the fault plane and on this fault plane this block is resting above the fault plane so this block is considered as a hanging wall this block is below the fault plane okay so this block is considered as a foot wall okay so due to this displacement three displacement are formed okay so here this horizontal displacement is considered as a head this vertical displacement is considered as a throw which i have marked here in the green color and this total displacement okay which i have marked here in the uh, brown color this total displacement is considered as a cliff okay so before faulting these beds may be from this to this distance but after the faulting the horizontal distance is increased from this to this okay and the angle made by the fault plane with this horizontal layer that angle is always greater than 45 degree so this angle which i have marked here in the white color it is greater than always 45 degree okay so these are the uh, types of the uh, these are the some important points which are regarding with the normal fault okay so actually in the field the normal faults are look like this okay so when you look here these are the images of the normal fault now here have you recognized the uh, fault plane so here this is the fault plane okay here this is the fault plane you can clearly understand and here this is the fault plane now how can you consider uh, hanging wall foot wall so here uh, the block which rests above the fault plane that block is considered as a hanging wall i will write here hw just minute hw this is the hanging wall here this is the hanging wall and here this is the hanging wall the block which rests above the fault plane and the block which rests below the fault plane it is considered as a foot wall so here 
these are the foot walls okay hanging wall and foot wall now the hanging wall moves downward direction ata hanging wall downward direction la move zalele aste ata ti kashi recognize karayche now here uh, look at in this fold this layer okay so this layer is here and here this layer is here so this block is moved downward direction and this move block moves towards the upward direction that's why this type of the fold is considered as a normal fold okay now here you can uh, consider this layer okay and this layer so this layer moves downward direction this layer moves towards the upward direction that's why it is again type of the normal fold now you can consider another layer in this third diagram just wait i will show you with the another color suppose this black layer and this black layer okay so this black layer is towards upward side in the foot wall and the hanging wall it is towards the downward side so this is again type of the normal fault okay so these are the images of the field photograph regarding with the normal fault now <clears throat> next type of the fault is the reverse fault okay reverse fault now what is meaning of reverse fault the characters of the reverse fault is completely opposite to the normal fault like we have discussed in the fold anticline and syncline likewise the characters of the normal fault and reverse fault are completely opposite to each other if you uh, prepare one type you can automatically prepare the second type because the characters of one type is completely opposite to the another type <clears throat> so in the reverse fault what are the important points regarding with the uh, reverse fault so the fault in which the hanging wall has moved upward direction with respect to the foot wall then it is considered as a reverse fault it is also considered as a thrust fault the angle made by the uh, fault plane with the horizontal layers that angle is always less than 45 degree and the beds are shorter after the faulting okay so just wait i will explain you here again with the help of uh, background so here this is the fault plane where the blocks are moved relative to each other which i have marked here in the white color that is the uh, fault plane so the block which rest above the fault plane so this is the fault plane and this block rest above the fault plane that's why this block is considered as a hanging wall okay this block rest below the fault plane that's why this block is considered as a foot wall because it is present below the fault plane okay now have you recognized the displacement so when you see the displacement of the block now here this hanging wall moves upward direction and this foot wall moves towards the downward direction that's why Uh, it is considered as a reverse fault and when you look the angle this angle which is made by the fault plane with the horizontal layers <coughs> this angle is always less than 45 degree as compared to the normal fault in the normal fault it is greater than 45 degree okay and here in the reverse fault it is less than 45 degree now and the beds are shorter after the faulting now what is the meaning of <coughs> this the beds are shorter means distance will be 
decreased now when you look here the original distance um, before the faulting will be from this to this point but after faulting this distance is reduced okay after faulting the distance is from this to this point only okay so it is considered as a shortening of bed beds are shortened means the horizontal distance will be reduced in the reverse fault we have seen in the normal fault that the distance horizontal distance between two blocks after the faulting is increased that we considered as a stretched now here opposite to stretched shortened means distance uh, total horizontal distance after the faulting will be decreased okay so these are the important points regarding with the uh, reverse fault just yes, we will see another diagram here now here this is the again one of the important uh, diagram related with the uh, reverse fault now which are the points uh, so here when you look here just wait i will use another color so this is the fault plane which i have marked here in the red color this is the fault plane on which on which we can see the displacement between two blocks okay so the block which rest above the fault plane fault plane cha varti jo block rest zalela asto sorry ah yes fault plane cha varti jo block asto tela apan hanging wall manat asto jo block fault plane cha khali asto tela apan kay manat asto foot wall manun tela consider karat asto hanging wall and foot wall now look the displacement of the block block se displacement kaise zalela hai hanging wall varti gelela hai ani foot wall ya tikani khali alela hai आता हे कसं ओळखलं हँगिंग वॉल वरती गेलाय फुटबॉल खाली आला आहे तर या ठिकाणी हा ब्लू कलरचा लेअर बघा सी केअरफुली दी ब्ल्यू लेअर इन दिस ब्लॉक दिस ब्ल्यू लेअर इज टुवर्ड्स अपवर्ड साइड इन दिस ब्लॉक दिस ब्ल्यू कलर लेअर टुवर्ड्स दी डाऊनवर्ड साइड सो इफ सच अ टाइप ऑफ दी डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज देअर वेअर दी हँगिंग वॉल मूव्स अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन अँड फुटबॉल मूव्स टुवर्ड्स दी डाऊनवर्ड डायरेक्शन देन such a type of the fault is considered as a reverse fault okay now you can uh, see that uh, another uh, feature that angle so this angle let's wait i will make another color so this angle which i have marked here in the white color this angle is less than 45 degree in the reverse fault okay and before and after faulting okay so just wait so this is the total distance this is the total horizontal distance after the faulting but when you remember or when you consider the original distance this will be from this to this or more than this so the distance after the faulting will reduced so it is considered as a shortened the distance okay so these are the points regarding with the reverse fault so we will see uh, the uh, actual field photographs of the reverse fault so here when you look here in this diagram you have to first recognize the fault plane so here this is the fault plane in this fault and here this is the fault plane in this fault okay now <clears throat> when you look here the uh, side which rest above the fault plane is the hanging wall so here it is hanging wall and the block which rest below the fault plane is the foot wall so the hanging wall and foot wall i have mentioned here in this field photograph now when you look the displacement between two blocks don blocks cha madli jar tumhi displacement jar bagitli consider this layer just wait consider this horizontal layer and this horizontal layer now here in this hanging wall the block is moved upward direction here this block moves towards the 
downward direction that's why it is type of reverse fold now here you can consider this layer this light layer or you can consider this white layer or you can consider this black layer these layers are moved upward in the hanging wall and in the foot wall these layers are moved towards the downward side okay that's why it is the type of the reverse fault normal fault and reverse fault the characters in normal fault is exactly opposite to the characters of the reverse fault okay so have you understand what are the characters of normal fault and what are the characters of the reverse fault yes sir समझ ले क्या है सगना समझ ले क्या है हैव यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ नॉर्मल फॉल्ट एंड व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ रिवर्स फॉल्ट यस सर ओके सो द अनदर टाइप्स आर देयर इन द फॉल्ट्स आफ्टर द नॉर्मल फॉल्ट एंड रिवर्स फॉल्ट ओके 